Wow, that looks good. Hi guys. So Luis couldn't wait. He started eating without you. He must think these look really good. They're which good. They do. So I made falafel burgers. It's High Carb Hannah's falafel recipe, and I made it into burgers for us. And we're also having some cucumbers. All right, so <laughs> today we're gonna tell you the story of our wedding drama, the drama that happened at our wedding. And pretty much Luis is gonna tell you the story because he's the good storyteller. Mm -hmm. And anyway, let me tell you really quick. I put avocado taco flavored hummus, the falafel patty and tomato on mine. And then we're having cucumbers with hot sauce. Mine's Cholula, his is Tapatio and salt on our cucumbers, so. Mexican style pepinos, right? Should you say Mexican style? Why? You're Mexican. Mm. I learned it from you, so oh, I should probably get a fork, but whatever. All right, so here we go. Let's get into it. Okay, so <clears throat> first, I gotta tell us some some backstory, right? So everyone knows. How my mom was, right? If you watched the last mukbang where we talked about me moving to Vegas, <clears throat> brain fart. When we talked about him moving to Vegas, and you, if you watched that one, then you learned a little bit about his mother and the backstory of his life. So, if you haven't seen that one yet, go watch that one first, and then come back to this one. So, like I said before, my mom and I had a few years where everything was okay. We were working, these were going great. And then I would say around 2004, you know, she lost her job because something happened that she never went into in great detail. And I thought she hurt her back. Well, she claimed, see the, the thing is, I don't, think, I, think, I don't think there's anything wrong with her back. Okay, well she claimed to hurt her back and that's why she quit her job. I don't think anything's wrong with her back, okay? I wanna make that very clear. I think she thinks there's something wrong with her back, but anyway. So she lost her job, and I was still working, and we were living together still. And so rather than looking for another job, she decided, okay, yeah, you're right, because she, she, she did claim that her back was hurting, and she decided, well, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and try to claim disability, mm -hmm. right? And she was looking into um, uh, getting a lawyer, this and that, since it happened at work. And the thing with my mom was, how do I put this? Like, she, I was like her man. Does that, does that make sense? Because I was, I, I would always, rather than being the other way around, like the way it should be, I was taking care of her. You know, I was making sure. You are her parent. You were the parent. Right. Okay. So I was making sure she was okay, that she had money, um, that we had food, that I was paying the rent. So I was doing all of that, mm -hmm. and um, by by late 2004, I was already wearing thin. I was already getting fed up with it, because I would leave for work. She was on the couch. I'd come home. She'd be in the same, exact same location on the couch, same position, right? Day in and day out. And after a while, it just wears on you mentally. So the difference between taking care of her like I was I, I felt I always felt like I had to take care of her mm -hmm. like I, I, I was obligated to take care of her whereas with you I want to take care of you right mm -hmm. I want to protect you um, I want to be um, whatever it is you need me to be whenever you need me to be it mm -hmm. so that's the difference I was I always felt I was obligated with her and I want to with you, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And then, which is great, so you came into my life at the perfect time, right when I was ready to just to start a new life, right? So, when you and I started dating, and again, it happened very fast. We, we started <laughs> dating in July, and by December we were married. So, mm -hmm. by the time we started dating, I went home and I told my mom, everything's about to change. I met someone, I'm going to marry this person, and you need it's time for you to get your life together as soon as possible because i need i need you out or i'm leaving i'm leaving or you're leaving either way we're we're not going to be living together anymore mm -hmm. i'm getting married now right she didn't like that at all she's 
did not. She took you know great offense to that. Granted, you didn't move in until like October, like September, October. So she had a couple months to figure out what she was gonna do. Okay. So again, we met in July. We started dating officially. But we met like in May. Yeah. Started dating July 19th. Mm -hmm. Got married December 18th, 18th. Mm -hmm. 2005. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the backstory leading up to our marriage. So she moved out, wasn't very happy about it. In fact, if you remember, she moved out, but she moved in, in, in a different apartment in that same complex, and you and I we were paying, for were paying it. her rent. Yeah. Remember? Mm hmm. Until she could get her feet together and everything, so. We're paying for her to have a one bed. Not only did I give her a two months notice, right? But then we were paying her rent for her own apartment. Mm hmm. Okay, so she, she should have no reason to be upset mm -hmm. with the situation. Mm -hmm. So now it's wedding time. At this point, she should have no reason to hate me. Right. So now it's wedding time. So, <clears throat> we're there. Every, everything's getting set up. I'm there. You're getting ready. And when the ceremony begins, I'm noticing that my, my half of the aisle is empty. Like, no one is shown up. No, my mother hasn't shown up. Um, uh, another family member came from out of state to attend the wedding. But she... But she hooked up with my mom, right? So my, my mom, there's there's like a, a group that my mom was supposed to bring, she had the directions, bring them to where we were, where we were getting married. Mm -hmm. So my side is empty. So many people from your side were showing up that your people started okay. filling up to my side. Yeah, my parents told my guests to start filling up his side right. so that it would be even, because yeah. his family didn't show up. Didn't show up. So we went through the entire ceremony. You know, the I do's, the, the vows, everything. So I now- I should read your vows at the end. Oh no. No, I don't know. <laughs> so now is the reception, right? Or wherever, what, what do you call where the meal is taking place? Well, it was all in the same room. Right, but we went from the ceremony to yeah, now it's to the, the reception. Reception, okay. So mm -hmm. now it's the reception, we're eating. So late into the reception, my mother and the gang finally shows up. Mm -hmm. they, they finally show up. And the family member who came out of state who was um, with my mom, told me, she pulled me to the side and said, listen, um, your mom told us not to show up. She told us to that we should just go to a casino and gamble and hang out rather than going to the wedding. Your mom did not want to come to the wedding. Mm -hmm. And she prevented, when people, she asked, my family member asked my mom, and other family members asked my mom, okay, well, what are directions? We'll go. My mom refused to give them directions. So now she showed up. I didn't know that part, that she yes. refused to give him directions. She, now she showed up with everyone. Well, because that person convinced them to... I came all this way, right. I want to go to the wedding, you better take me to the wedding. Right. So, they finally showed up. They finally showed up, and my mother had nothing to say about it. She didn't apologize, she didn't try to explain herself. When I confronted her, she just... No. Didn't she say they got lost? Well, she, she claimed that they got lost, but that was... Not the night. No, no, no. So, so when she showed up, mm -hmm. I thought she said that she got lost, that they didn't know how to get there. So she didn't tell me that. My family member told me, oh. don't let her tell you that she got lost. Oh, okay. She didn't want to come. Mm -hmm. She tried to convince everyone not to come, mm -hmm. to go gambling instead. Gambling, hang out, whatever, instead. Mm -hmm. So, now, For a while, we paid her rent, mm -hmm. but then we 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 just we decided we can't do this. We can't afford it. Mm -hmm. So she moved back back in with us. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. So we go home. I thought the wedding was over. We go home, and we we sleep. And when the next morning, so the first day of my marriage, mm -hmm. our marriage. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have to go. So because because my mom was living with us again, mm -hmm. I had to go to her room, knock on the door, and kick her out. Remember? Yeah. I kicked her out. And there's a lot of stuff that was, um, uh, that I, there's, there's a lot of stuff I had to say to her. And I guess I was waiting for uh, an opportunity to, to express myself, to express my thoughts. And that, that went back for a long time. And not, not just because of the wedding, but okay, the, the wedding, you not, you, you doing what you, what you did with the wedding is a catalyst. Now I want to go ahead and just 
Mm -hmm. And so I spent the next hour while she was packing, just unleashing on her, just telling her everything I wanted to tell her, get everything off my chest, and everything we, from his childhood. Right, about. and we and we we kicked her out. She was gone. And do you even know where she went? Mm -mm. I don't remember. Mm -mm. That's it. No, and then the other family member. Okay. Kicked my mom out. <laughs> the family member who came from out of state, right? The 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 person who convinced my mom, no, no, this is this sucks. We should go to the wedding. She and her son. Well, so she was part of a abusive relationship. Yeah. Okay. And so she asked us if she can, and with her son, can live with us, remember? Mm -hmm. If they can move in. And so we decided, yes, I mean, you know, you're, you're not in an abusive relationship. Maybe you, you, you should have a fresh start. So she moved in with us. Um, little did we know that that would end up opening this huge, another story gruesome time. Gruesome scenario. That'll be another story time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is a good person. There's just some mm -hmm. drama because of the abusive relationship that came along with that person yeah. that came into our life because of that person. So nothing against that person, mm -mm. good person, mm -hmm. just ended up bringing some drama into our life for a little while that we had to deal with. So yeah, that'll be another story time. But so <laughs> yeah, what's a wedding without some drama? Mm -hmm. At least we have a story to tell from it. Mm -hmm. I still had fun. Yeah, I had a great time. I kind of felt bad that we... <laughs> I was pregnant. I was already like two months pregnant when we had our wedding. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not... I'm not a dancer or anything, so... We kind of just... <laughs> we kind of just sat at the table and ate. And then they made us get up and say like a little speech, each of us. And then... You know, we ate, we cut the cake. And then there wasn't, I mean, there were people dancing. Like my mm -hmm. uncle forced me to dance with him. My dad I had to dance with my dad. Um, so I did do a little bit of dancing, like more like slower dancing. Cause I can't dance. And my uncle was so drunk <laughs> that he was like forcing me to dance with him. And he was going really fast. And my skirt was like really long. It had like a train and it wasn't like a regular wedding dress. I'll show you a picture in a little while, but, or I'll show you a picture here down at the bottom, but my skirt, I was wearing a skirt, not like a wedding dress. So it was like a black skirt with a, like a tail end that I couldn't like pin up or anything. So he was like swinging me around the dance floor and I was tripping all over the place and he was just kind of holding me up because he was drunk. And I was like, I don't know how to dance, uncle. I don't know how to dance. Like, I don't know what we're doing. He's just so your drunk. Uncle, your he didn't dad's care. dad's brother, right? Yeah, my dad's brother. Like, <clears throat> he didn't even care, but he was having, he was having a ball. And then my dad was like so happy that I danced with him and yeah. Um, my parents forced us to have a wedding because we were going to go to Reno and elope. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Don't bring it like that. Tell them the truth. Whose idea was it? What do you mean? It was your idea. Yeah, it was my idea to go to Reno. Sorry, I am playing. Okay, for those, those gamers out there, there I was playing Metroid Prime 2 on my GameCube. And one day, um, Jen calls me. I answer the phone. I said, hello. Where are you eloping? What? Where are you eloping? Where did you want to go? Reno. Reno. I wanted to go to Reno, have my best friend and her husband mm -hmm. at the time come meet us over there to be our witnesses. And I, I mean, I wanted to elope because I didn't think my parents were going to approve because we literally got married five months after we met. Mm -hmm. So I thought my parents were going to like raise hell and be upset and all this stuff. So I was like, yeah, maybe we should just elope and then not, not ask their permission or not involve anyone in my family or anything your or your out. family. And then my mom found out. So I told my parents if if they insisted that I had a wedding, the only involvement that I was going to have in it was picking the colors, my own dress out because I was planning on wearing black and I wanted to wear what I wanted to wear and I didn't want to hear any crap about it. And um, like I wasn't going to decorate or do anything. Like I said, I'm picking my dress, I'll pick the colors and you guys have to do everything else. I, if you want a wedding, it's uh, it's up to you to do it and I'm not paying for it either. Like if you want to do it. Which is like so opposite of a, a typical girl would I want. I would think, yeah. I didn't want to have a wedding, but I am actually glad in the end that we did it because our pictures turned out really pretty. Yeah. My friend at the time, um, Missy, mm -hmm. 
was taking like photography classes and she offered as a wedding gift to take our photos for us so um the photos i mean they're not super professional but they're way nicer than what they would have been if we had just taken it with like a disposable camera or something at the time true because my ex had stolen my camera so <laughs> we would have had really crappy photos if it weren't for her so that was really nice of her and so i'm actually happy in the end that we did have a real wedding because we have really nice memories and pictures and stuff from that and it made my parents happy so mm -hmm. you know i remember there was a question if we were getting married because you were pregnant yeah and then your dad how did you finish already <laughs> and then your dad um <laughs> would you tell me one day like you heard my vows and oh he said oh okay after Luis's four pages of wedding vows my dad told me later on he said i i kind of thought you guys were just getting married because you got pregnant but after hearing Luis's wedding vows like wow like i don't believe that anymore like i am what was really what did he say he said like like basically something like i'm not afraid for your future anymore like he really loves you and like basically just like wow like I think that's why he likes you so much. I think so. Because after, after your wedding vows, there was like no doubt that you love me and that you were marrying me because you love me and yeah, so. He's the romantic in the relationship. I'm not. <laughs> He's the mushy one. So <laughs> his vows are four pages and mine are literally like four or five sentences because I didn't know what to say well, after all of that. You got straight to the that. point. You got straight to the point. Because he told me, <clears throat> he told me he didn't tell me what his vows were going to be and I was having such a hard time writing mine and it ended up I was embarrassed after you did four pages and I literally did like one tiny little paragraph so but it was still beautiful like my dad was crying at, at, after he said his vows and so yeah he was like okay I know you got married because you really love each other remember when the minister had almost pulled me off sorry guys it's a bit jumpy the camera keeps cutting off I had to delete some videos <laughs> So anyway, I was saying that um, after, like during the wedding, so I started crying during some part of the ceremony and I couldn't like stop crying. Like, so somebody handed me a tissue and I'm like sniffling through the whole ceremony and I'm trying really hard not to make a lot, a lot of annoying like crying noise and I'm trying so hard to like not cry. But once I start crying, it's over. It's, it, I, I have such a hard time to stop crying when I, when I start. And so <laughs> I'm sniffling through the whole thing. I think it was because of you, because your your vows. You're reading me four pages of vows, and then I start crying. And then and I was pregnant, so I was overly emotional to begin with. And then um, and then at the end, <laughs> when we kiss, Luis is like kissing me, kisses me like three or four times, and the pastor's like, okay, like that's enough. <laughs> he had to stop him. And then, and then that was it. We turned around, walked down the aisle, and then we had our reception. Oh, I think the most unique thing about our wedding, other than the fact that we wore black, um, so it was kind of like a gothic wedding, but I think the most interesting thing about it is that we, I walked down the aisle to Deftones, which is his favorite band, but it was not a Deftones song. It was a it was Deftones a cover, of cover song, Sade. Sade. Sade's No uh, Ordinary Love. No Ordinary Love. So that's the song I walked down the aisle to. And then our wedding song was Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful by Smashing Pumpkins. Smashing Pumpkins. So I think we bored everyone with our oh, music choices through most of it. That's good music to me. But we had an awesome time. Yeah. <laughs> it was our wedding, so anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't finish my food. Uh, the video is getting kind of long, so I'm just going to eat it off camera. But I hope you enjoyed our little wedding story. Thanks for watching my little broccoli bites, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye! And, oh, sorry, I forgot. Don't forget, if you want more story times, to give us a thumbs up and let us know down in the comments. The next story is... Yeah, the next story is a good one. If you really, if you guys want it, should I give a hint? Yeah. It's about the time that someone threatened to cut my baby out of me. Logan. When Yes, when I was pregnant with Logan, someone threatened to cut him out of me and take him away from <clears> me. <throat> so that was the scariest day of my life. If you guys want to hear that story, make sure you leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. And we'll catch you in the next video.